You're looking at live pictures of an Atlas V rocket on the launch pad at Cape Canaveral in Florida just minutes before the scheduled launch of an ambitious NASA mission to Mars. On board is the newest generation of Mars rover named Perseverance, whose goal is to search for evidence of past life on the red planet. It's the first part of a multi-billion dollar effort to eventually bring Martian rock samples back to Earth. Mark Strassman shows us the challenges ahead. This Atlas V rocket will launch NASA's newest explorer, destination Mars. Perseverance is NASA's biggest and most sophisticated rover ever built. On board, 19 cameras and lots of high-tech wizardry. You're getting an extraordinary opportunity to see the Mars helicopter. Before the COVID pandemic, engineer Mimi Ong showed us ingenuity. This four pound, $80 million helicopter will photograph the Martian landscape. It would make space history, flying in an atmosphere 100 times thinner than Earth's. Which would be more valuable, the pictures that it takes or proving that it can fly? My very, very personal bias, proving that it flies. <laughs> because that's gonna give us the solid foundation to build our ultimate dream, which is just much larger aerial vehicles you know, at Mars. This mission's main goal, peer deep into the red planet's past. Three and a half billion years ago, water covered Mars. Another NASA rover, Curiosity, confirmed the planet could have supported life. Perseverance hopes to establish whether it did. That's the big question. That's the big question. There's a fundamental difference between there could have been life and there was life. Absolutely, yeah. It's a big, big jump there. Project scientist Ken Williford and his team uh, hope to find signs of ancient life preserved here in an ancient river delta at Jezero Crater. With its robotic arm, Perseverance will play astrobiologist and drill into rock where water once flowed. The samples it collects may hold proof of past microbial life. Think pond scum at the edge of a, at the edge of a lake. That would be the galaxy's most valuable pond scum? Indeed. That is what we're looking for. <laughs> Bringing those samples back to Earth will take two more mind-blowing missions. Listen to this. A European rover will pick up the samples. A NASA rocket will launch them off the surface of Mars. And a European spacecraft will try to catch them mid-orbit and haul them back to Earth in 2031. If it sounds complicated, it is. No one has ever done a round trip to another planet before. Lori Glaze um, oversees planetary science at NASA. Getting samples back from Mars has always been a major goal. Very ambitious, but an exciting, exciting mission. But first, this launch has to go right. And that's up to Tori Bruno and his rocket company, United Launch Alliance. The spacecraft has very little capability to adjust its own trajectory, so we just have to point it exactly right and send it on a journey that's gonna be over 200 million miles. And we do our very best to make sure we do everything we can to make this successful. Cruising to Mars will take almost seven months. Touchdown will happen mid-February next year. For CBS This Morning, Mark Strassman, Pasadena, California. Yeah, what an exciting mission, Gail, and I can't wait to see what's in the world's most <laughs> valuable pond scum. <laughs> Complicated, costly, and cool. Exciting. Yeah. Yep, exciting is a word you guys may use. I look at it and I go, no thanks, no <laughs> desire. And as John Tower, as John Tower, our senior producer, pointed out, he goes, Gail, you're not on anybody's top ten list to go, so don't you don't have to it. worry about it. He's very good for the ego. <laughs> very good for the ego but I admire the people that want to go yeah. I admire the people that want to go it's just not for me I'm too scared <laughs> well you can stay earthbound Gail